Okay, so a lot of people for Christmas got these adult coloring books. And then I watched some videos on how people color them, and they do a horrible job teaching people how to color well. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So first thing you want to do is pick out where you want to start coloring. And I'm going to start with this little, this little dude here. I'm going to start with a yellow, but since I'm going to do yellow, if you want to give it more depth and character, pick a color darker than what you're using as the main color. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get in the yellow. I'm going to be careful not to get out of the lines. By the way, we are adults now, so we don't color outside the lines. And actually, you can go all the way, you don't have to go all the way to the edge because of the other color that we're using. Okay. So the yellow is in. <clears throat> Looks pretty good. That's where you take this one, the goldenrod yellow, and that's where I'm going to go red along the edge and darken the edge and work it just barely into the deal. So I'm going to stop recording here for just a second and show you what I get done with the goldenrod. Let me get closer. It's kind of hard to see with the yellow that we chose, so I'm going to add a little bit of orange to this. But it goes from a darker yellow on this outside to the lighter on the inside with these two yellows. But to darken it up for the video, I'm going to use a little bit of orange and just add a little bit of depth right around the bird, around the entire outside, and just fade it in. Okay, so now you can see the uh, orange around the outside hopefully pretty well. Um, now I'm going to do orange. I like to do a complementary color to the yellow which because if it's an actual bird it would be pretty close to that. So I'm going to do orange on the wing and as the outside can give depth we're going to use a metallic uh, copper color. <clears throat> so just like I did that first yellow I'm going to put in this color here I'm a grown up again. I'm not going to go outside the lines. Now, I have the orange in and I don't like the texture of it. So, I'm going to go the opposite way that I just colored it in to get rid of any lines that you might have seen. I'm going to take the darker, oops, goldenrod yellow and put that in here. And that's going to add actually a little bit more warmth to this part of the bird. And also give me a smoother texture, almost if I were using acrylic paint. Now I'm going to take my, it's not a highlight, it's like a low light. And add that in. So let me do that real quick and I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Okay, so as you can see, I did the metallic copper all along the outside edges of the bird. Again, this looks really warm. I think it looks good. And as you can see here on these two sections, that they put a lot of the little marks in there. It's because they wanted that color to be a darker color. So they're hinting at you for that to be a darker shade of whatever you're coloring with. I'm going to use just a straight metallic, and I'm not going to do the different color things on here simply because they've already got all that texture in there. So let me just color these in real quick. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so to finish up our little birdie here, all I gotta do now is color the beak and we'll have a, hopefully a pretty interesting looking bird. I'm gonna do it in reverse order. I'm gonna do the dark first with my orange. And if I had my sharpener here, I'd sharpen it, but I'm not doing all of it, just a tiny little bit where the two uh, beaks connect. You can see that. And now I'm going to go just straight in with yellow and finish that out. And I'm pushing pretty hard here because I'm not doing multiple, multiple layers. Alright. 
So there you go. That's a tutorial on how to color with map colors. And what I would do is I would, every bird that's this one right here, like which is also this bird here is the same one, I would color them identical, which is also the same bird right here. So that's just how I like to do it. Some people like to color them all differently, but that's your own uh, opinion. So make sure you like, thumbs up, my thumb can't go up, and share.